You know when you start something and almost instantly regret it. I had a horse box that had a floor about 10 minutes ago. And now it doesn't. And that's all my fault. Got you tulips in a twist. Hang up boss like communist. No, I can never ever get back all the things I missed. But I'm that man they think you got the gist. Got you tulips in a twist. Hang up boss like communist. No, I can never ever get back all the Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be looking at the horse box. I'm gonna to look to talk the floor out and um, see what else needs doing, get some ideas for what we can do for the conversion of it. Okay, let's get to it. Here we have my Bay Hill trailer. So a Bay Hill trailer is a type of rice trailer. Um, I think one of the early ones, I'm not actually sure of the age, but it's definitely quite old. Clearly though, it has been done up and looked after. Uh, this I think is in uh, Land Rover Green. You can see some dents on the side, um, but nothing to worry about. It's all adds to the character of this sort of age of trailer. You can see there's some missing paint there. It actually shows the original sort of blue color to it. You'll also see there's some red, sort of the horse box maroon color in places. It will need repainting, but on the whole, it's not in bad shape. These doors here, they just closed to the metal so it does actually let in water these will need replacing and this big back door as it is i'll have to change it because somehow i want to be able to uh, open and close it from the inside and we don't actually need it as a deck area obviously if i was converting this to use as like a gin bar or something like that it'd be perfect but actually as a camper it's not necessary would probably be better off to have it opening upwards the wheels, they're in fairly good condition. Uh, the bearings seem sound. Might need to replace a couple of tires. You can see there's holes already drilled here. There were, that's where the old wood was. They will need all new bolts. I'll put zinc bolts through them. You've got the ventilation bit there. It's got a microfiber cloth in there at the moment, just to stop the driving rain. There's also, it looks like a hole that has got maybe some gaffer tape over not sure what that's for but we'll sort that again you can see the red i'm not sure if that was painted that color at one point or it was a primer but that will need doing got this the nice old-fashioned sort of linkage bit there you can see a collar there that means you can reverse it it locks off the brake uh, again the door here that allows water in at the moment so we'll have to look at how to seal that this is where the spare wheel goes on Again, that I was talking about there, you can see the paint through. The silver is definitely a primer. You can see the steel through there, so we might need to paint over that. Here you can see where water has been pooling, and this vent up here will need resealing with some Sig Flex. It's looking pretty good. I uh, look forward to uh, cracking on with the project. So let me bring you up to speed. I bought the horse box. It didn't cost me much. It wasn't in bad condition. I had some insulation, so I decided to do the insulation on here. It seemed sound, even had a floor. But then I started discovering that damp was coming up. I tried to fill between the gaps and it didn't work. And it's just been bugging me and bugging me. So I decided to change the floor. I'll try and undo the screws again, but they're all just, uh, they look like self tappers that are, are now just stuck in. So it's a case of having to crowbar things out, which is not a great way of doing things. As we get further along to the sort of middle of these beams that go across, it's even more important for me not to put too much bending force. It is box steel, so it should be all right, but obviously I don't want to put too much strain on the frame. Uh, 
Lovely job. Sometimes all it takes is the right tool and the right angle. So I'm taking out this wood floor as well because although it's a nice thick wood to drill things into, stuff like that, it's very, very thick. It's got the gaps in it, but also I'm worried about it starting to rot and hold water. So I've actually got some aluminium sheet that can go on here, followed by some 18 mil low bearing ply. Should I have done the insulation first? No, definitely not. I shouldn't have, but I've done it and I'm just gonna have to live with that. These bolts, screws, whatever they are. I don't know what the state of them are though. And then they tap off quite easy. Yeah, so that they do come off fine. I will obviously need to fix booty. Let's crack on. Corrosion on that brake rod. I'll need to um, give that a little rub down and coat it. Hubs look all right. You know, it's not too late to subscribe. You can like the video as well. Really is quite a small space. Oh, well, that one came up easily. So that's my floor now. Well, that's quite scary. But once tidied up, brushed, all that, that shouldn't be an issue. Right, so now it's removing them screws and giving it a little brush. Let's get to it. I can get all the sort of grease off this and then re-grease it up while we have the floor off as well. I'll get the super magnet in a minute and have a walk round. Clear the yard. I keep this on the truck at all times. Often so when I go fishing, if I uh, lose a load of weights or fishing's really bad, I can always put down by where all the snags are and find where all the weights have gone and everyone else's weight for that matter. There we are. So that handbrake's doing nothing at the moment because when this pushes, nothing is turning. I would say our brakes are nice and seized there. Eh? Something to explore later. This is our floor, or lack of, as the case may be. The painting on the outside, you can see bits here. It's chipped and stuff like that. That'll all need sorting. Until that's sorted, the thing's kind of not quite waterproof. Obviously with all the holes in it, it's not waterproof anyway. Yeah, I'm excited with how this one's gonna go. And uh, I'm happy with how the, the chassis is. The frames, there's nothing wrong with it. Boom! I'm gonna go and have lunch. So I think the, the floor I'm gonna come back to, I'll bring it tonight, I'll have a look, see what we do. Obviously I'm not gonna fix it down just now anyway, because I wanna look at the brakes, look at the hubs, etc. On the sides, previously, the wood was just bolted to the sides. I've put this insulation in, sort of regretting doing it so early, but it's done now. Now I can either now just put new wood to the side, or I could just look at a thin batten, maybe like a, I don't know, 25 mil batten. And then in between that, I could put some more insulation, just give it a bit more warmth, uh, a bit more sound deadening, just, well, obviously the more insulation, the better. It also mean that 
it sort of comes level to the rest of the sides, which may make things easier. This door and the back door, I will need to look at somehow making it weatherproof because at the moment the door just shuts against here. Water drives in from the corners, from the bottom. Obviously, it's, it's a horse box, so it's, it's made to be sort of wet, damp and outdoors. Uh, we want to change that. It doesn't need to be like an absolute dry box, but we don't want it getting getting really damp, really. Really? Used a lot, really, sir. So. I've got so much now to tidy up. <laughs> so let's see what we actually got from Screwfix. We've got some no-nonsense brushes, a uh, pack. They're almost disposable, aren't they, this quality? We've got the Amorite paint. This can actually go directly onto rust, but um, we're going to put some rust converter on some of the worst places. It will also go onto the metal with only a light, a light brush from the, uh, the brass. We've also got the rust converter. I think it's phosphoric acid, which obviously is an irritant. And then the trusty Sikaflex, as I was saying, previously or as i've said previously this stuff is great because it sticks it's waterproof and it's flexible for for if you move like you know like i use it on the boat and stuff like that because things are always moving around and not staying exactly square this stuff is absolutely brilliant for that as for the floor what we're going to do is use the aluminium i think it's two mil aluminium it's not very thick because of the size of the bottom in here it's 230 centimetres long and 135 centimetres across. So uh, one single sheet won't actually fill it. So rather than just filling the edges, we're going to get two of the sheets. We're going to turn them sideways, cut them to size and then overlap them slightly. And then I've got some acrylic sheet to go on top that's already got some of the foam insulation on it. I'm going to reuse that because it doesn't matter if I've got the acrylic bit anyway, there is a slight difference in the side of the box and the middle anyway. So that uh, three mil acrylic will actually help to level that out, ready for then the 18 mil ply. We will seal the 18 mil ply as well, because it's gonna get a lot of traffic, as in a lot of people walking on it. It's gonna be on the bottom. It's gonna be, hopefully not have a problem of condensating because the insulation and the acrylic will actually take that coldness away from it. That's the idea anyway. So um, we'll see how that goes. So we've cleaned the chassis with WD-40 to get rid of any of the real heavy grease and dirt that was there. We then used heavy duty degreaser, which I've sprayed onto the frame. I'll let that soak for a bit and then that'll be rinsed off. Then we'll have to allow it to dry before we can put the rust converter on. Once the rust converter has been on, we need to allow that to dry. Then we'll amorite everything. Um, I should say hammerite, but it's my accent. We'll amorite everything and then we'll be ready for the floor to go down. I'm afraid the floor is going to go down in the next episode. Each of these is going to take some time to dry and we just haven't got the time today. So subscribe, like, tell all your friends, your pets, show it to everyone, but we'll catch you soon.